Ever wondered how bonds work? Well, sit back and let's embark on a journey to understand the fascinating world of bonds. A bond, in its simplest form, is a loan. It's a fixed income security that represents a loan given by an investor to an issuer. This issuer could be a corporation or even a government. In exchange for this loan, the issuer pledges to pay periodic interest, known as coupon payments, and to return a principal amount, known as the power value or face value, upon maturity. Now let's break down some essential terms used in bond accounting. The par value or face value of a bond is the amount the issuer agrees to repay to the bondholder at maturity. For instance, if you're holding a corporate bond with a par value of $1,000, you'll receive that exact amount when the bond reaches its maturity. Sometimes a bond is issued at a price below its par value. This is known as a discounted issue. So, if a company issues a bond with a par value of $1,000 but sells it in the market for $980, this bond is a discounted issue. The difference between the market price and the par value, in this case $20, is the bond discount. On the flip side, a bond issued at a price above its par value is known as a premium issue. For example, a government bond with a par value of $1,000 might trade at $1,050. This bond is a premium issue and the extra $50 is the bond premium. The stated rate, also known as the coupon rate, is the fixed annual interest rate specified in the bond contract. If a corporate bond has a stated rate of 5%, it pays $50 in annual interest. The market rate, or the yield, is the prevailing interest rate in the economy. It determines the bond's market price. If the market rate rises above the bond's stated rate, existing bonds become less appealing. Investors might buy new bonds with higher yields, causing the value of existing bonds to drop. Now let's explore different types of bonds. Zero coupon bonds, also known as discount bonds, don't pay periodic interest. They're issued at a discount to their face value and mature at par value. So if you buy a zero coupon bond with a face value of $1,000 for $800, you'll receive the full $1,000 at maturity. First mortgage bonds are secured by a specific asset, usually real estate. If the issuer defaults, bondholders have a claim on the property before other creditors. Debentures, on the other hand, are unsecured bonds. They rely on the issuer's creditworthiness and don't have specific assets backing them. Second mortgage bonds are subordinate to first mortgage bonds. They have a lower claim on the underlying assets in case of default. And there you have it, a crash course in the world of bonds. Understanding bonds can be a complex task, but with these basics, you're well on your way to becoming a bond expert. Remember, bonds are loans. They can be issued at a discount or a premium, and they come in various types, each with their unique features. Tune in next time for more insightful topics. Happy learning, and remember, at Lenora, we're your learning lab.